Now I'm going to show you our movers and shakers spinners um, die collection and just how easy it is to use this. Um, this set comes with three dies total. The first one is just a straight track and second piece is a wavy track and then there's circular elements for you to create your own spinning mechanism out of our coaster board. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and assemble a card using the straight track. Um, I have die cut a piece of cardstock that is five and a quarter by four inches, so it's just slightly smaller than um, my standard A2 card. And I have die cut um, all four of these circles from a piece of our coaster board. I'm going to pop these out here, just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to adhere these together. And you want to make sure that this is done pretty thoroughly or else um, stuff can get kind of stuck in the track a little bit. So the first thing I'm going to do is adhere these two small circles together. Sandwich those together like that. And then I'm going to adhere the small circles to the back of the large circles. So essentially I'm going to end up with this sandwiched in here like this. So you can see here, it's hard to see because it's such a tiny thing, but I've got large circle, both of the small circles inside there, and then the other large circle. Now what you want to do is adhere this large circle to the back of the element that you want to um, spin. And here I've got a butterfly that I die cut and I'm just going to adhere that right to the back of the butterfly. Before I do anything with this, I'm going to insert this element. What you're going to do is Remember earlier we created space between these two large circles with the sandwiched small circles. You're going to put just the back larger die on the other side of the cardstock and do the same thing with the bottom portion of it. And kind of click it into place here. And then as you can see your element can spin back and forth within the track. So in order for this to work well, you're going to need a little bit of space in between this portion and your actual card. So what you want to adhere this together with is foam tape. So I'm going to get my foam tape out here and you want to make sure that your foam tape isn't going to get in the way of your spinning element here. So place the foam tape directly above where that element's going to come by and place a few bits and pieces below as well. And you may want to just go ahead and add a few pieces in the four corners. For stability. So that the whole thing pops off the card front at the same height. So I've got all of my tape exposed here. And I'm going to take this and put it on the front of my card. Now, before you adhere this, that would be a good time to, if you wanted to stamp a sentiment in there or whatnot. So when you're all done, you end up with this element that will slide, spin, whatever you deem interactive with this type of die collection. 
and just imagine all the different uh, images that you could place on this. I'm thinking um, balls, cars, um, all kinds of different things that come could spin and slide. And that wraps it up for movers and shakers spinners.